American Beauty is your soldering, brazing, and thermal wire stripping solution provider. Okay, as you know, we've been talking about properly maintaining the tips in your irons, and as you can tell, this tip has not been properly maintained. It has not been kept properly wetted during use. We've got the uh, tip is oxidized. You should throw that out. I probably should, but I'm not going to because you're paying for copper, okay? I don't think I want to throw it out. I can actually salvage this tip, Eric, and I'm going to do that uh, in a couple of ways. First off, you remember our cleaning uh, pad from before, and I'm going to clean the shank of the tip. I'm going to get some of the junk and gunk off of there. Now, you see it, it's cleaning up pretty good. I'm getting a lot of the, the, the bluing and the oxide and the, you know, whatever other contaminants were on that shank off of there. Okay, so it's not looking too bad now at the back end, right? Yeah, okay. I, but how are you gonna solder with that well, oxidized I'm, okay, tip? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep cleaning, I'm gonna clean the head of it a little bit with this pad, okay? I'm gonna try and remove a lot of the junk from there. You see, that's coming off pretty good, okay? I'm even getting some of the rust off there, you notice that? A little now, bit. what's gonna happen though is that's really not gonna take, this is not gonna take all the rust off like you need to have it to re-wet it, okay? The pad just is not gonna be aggressive enough. Not even my the wire brush is gonna get that. You see, it's kinda of taking the rust off, okay? But there's a layer there, and that layer is what you gotta be concerned with, because you have to get down to the shine on that tip in order to re-wet it. I'm gonna take it over here uh, to the wire wheel, which we talked about before. When you need aggressive cleaning, this is what it's gonna take. I do not wanna remove my iron cladding that's on the tip, as you know, we have a protective iron cladding on the tip, okay? And that's to make the tip last longer. Again, we don't want to throw the tip away. Now, I want to make sure that I have uh, a good, clean, working surface of that tip, the area that's going to be uh, re-wetted. And I, I want it to be really clean. I, I probably am removing a little bit of the iron, uh, but again, I'm, I'm trying to be careful not to remove too much because I want that protection on the tip, okay? Now this probably is going to be pretty close to clean enough, all right? But we're going to know for sure when we do this process. So is that tip ready to solder with? No, sir, this is not, because right now, even though that's a clean surface, as soon as it starts heating up, it's going to start to oxidize right away because it doesn't have any protection, which is actually what our initial uh, pre-tinning of these tips when you get them new is all about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'll put a little bit of, of flux on this tip. I don't need a lot of flux, but I want to make sure that I get it in the cracks and kind of, and then. Once I've got that uh, properly fluxed, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to retin it. Now, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a solder pot. You can wrap your rosin core wire, uh, solder wire around the tip and bring it up to heat gradually. Uh, I find that to be a little cumbersome because as the solder starts to get the melt temperature, it falls off the tip and doesn't really wet it properly. So I prefer using the solder pot. Now, one of the things you have to remember, too, is that solder is actually going to uh, molecularly bond to the surface of the tip. So you can't just plunge it in because you have to allow the temperature of the solder to raise the temperature of the surface of the tip in order for proper wetting. So I'm gonna introduce it in here. I'm gonna uh, turn my fan on to pull some of the um, smoke that you're gonna see because of the flux. I'm gonna bring it in here and I'm gonna go ahead and, and give it time, give it a little bit of time to heat the surface of that tip. You know, allow it to properly wet to the tip. And you can see the you know, flux is reacting inside of there. You've got a little bit of a movement down, a little bubbling and whatnot. That solder pot you're using, is that an American Beauty? That is an American Beauty Model 600 general purpose solder pot, which is more than adequate for this kind of a job. You can see that I've got solder completely around that tip, and I'll bring it over a little closer for you. You want to, you know, tin it, and then you want to inspect it, okay? And if there's areas that didn't take the solder, like you see on the working end here, then what I will do is re-clean those areas, flux it again, and bring it back to the pot and dip it again. And that way I know it's fully wetted. I want the you know, full surface wetting when I do this because uh, I want to do it and be able to have this tip back in working order when I'm finished. Keeping your tip properly maintained during use will eliminate the need for future re-tinning.